Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. And today we're playing a very interesting game. We're playing A4 Manager. I got early, you know. Just joking. But anyway, we're playing F1 Manager 2000, okay? This is 22 years ago now. Of course, developed by none other than the most annoying game gaming company there is right now. That is EA Sports, you know. Of course, they could make games like this in that time period, right? But this one's not that bad. This game is not bad at all. So, we're going to be playing it today. But the one thing which is weird about this game, right? is that unlike f1 managers and other like different versions of it this one was weird because it came out to 2000 which is not big of a deal but it had 1999 cars in it so like i'll show you like when we actually get into the gameplay so anyway we have teams like we have arrows bar benetton ferrari jordan mclaren Minardi, frost of course, Salva and Stewart Grand Prix. So today we're gonna be going with Jordan. And now, of course, if you like this channel, please like and subscribe to help us greatly. But back into the video. So of course, first thing we like we see is there's a news like outlet of talking about our company in general, of how there's an all change at Jordan as we're the head of director now. And of course, we have all our engineer, engineers and stuff who are going to be communicating with us, like Damien Hill, Hines. We're all, of course, we can switch. We can switch almost any aspect of this game, which is quite cool. Okay, this game is so in depth, right? So we can see, we can change our technical directors, chief designer Mark Smith. We can change him, change anyone like Damien Hill. We can put in like Michael Schumacher next season anyone we can change almost any aspect of our team also like our suppliers our engine suppliers electronics and brake systems which is very cool but I might I add also like chassis like in terms of development they're in uh, manufacturing like departments then also there is sponsorships here too which is actually quite cool but let me show you something even weirder right something which is gonna probably blow your mind right so take a look at this right take a look very closely because this these are actually real life um sort of sponsors so you can see like playstation frost and stuff like that but let me show you this person okay tommy hilfiger right so in f1 the very first person in mind who comes on is lewis hamilton because he's of course signed with them and he's sponsored by them and he's like one of their flagship like main personnel but like if you click on here guess the name of the person right here Lawrence Stroh that's a madness this man had Tom Hilfiger and we can actually offer him a contract to sponsor us right but should we do it because he's gonna force us to get Lawrence Stroh who's two years old or three years old I'm not sure how old he is he back here but like He's going to tell us to actually full on sponsor him and get him to have a drive with us. So actually send him an offer, right? And of course, this test day. So we, we of course, going to test our car on the first ever outing here in Spain. And also you can see like the like terms of like test days and also rounds. So I want to make this a series later on, of course. I want to make it in a way where like we have to reach top two that's my objective right get a season where, where we can actually win it and if you guys are keen on me continuing with this sort of thing please like and subscribe to give me some feedback but like anyway we have opportunity and he says no because you don't have enough livery space of course but then we have also she cannot give us a sponsorship opportunity which is fine because this car has enough more than enough sponsors on it already because look at how many they caught jeez damn okay literally in this game there's also a news broadcast right f1 news of course you can see like teams state their intentions right so 
these guys want to finish sixth or higher in the championship constructors of course um, you have Williams getting a sponsorship McLaren on a bullish mood of course they want to kind of win this but then we also have like our objectives right I think we have I don't know what's going on I just didn't get any objectives for the season for us okay finally I found it never mind our objective in the chairpersons this year is to come third or higher okay that's our goal of the season third or higher we're gonna at least make it top three because you know Ferrari and McLaren have too big of a gap all right so anyway we just go into test day so of course we have our driver over here he's gonna be our test driver for well he is our test driver go make sure everything's running properly and I know just changing sus like suspension stiffness in here works usually so let's actually give him some more liters and of course there's a live feed of him and that's him going off let's see how he performs hopefully he doesn't do I mean 1 minute 32 seconds that's not too bad at all and as you can see you can actually tell him to put in so let's try to do that and you can see his performance so we can track him of course different views like the helicopter view of course his front fill of the cockpit like it's actually pretty in depth like that is actually pretty amazing and of course like the layouts of the track is also like one to one actual real life like of course going up that corner there okay so as he puts in we gotta check what's wrong with the car okay just wants to increase the priority okay so it's not too like too bad especially for testing at the moment so we got a got a cruise line this one so you can see now like other teams are posting up their times well no one's on the track either way so can't really see who's doing what of course we're still in first with williams second then benetton stewart and bar okay sounds on track now and i think that is benetton i think they're trying to Let's do test to check our car's performance, okay? So let's actually go out one more time and see how if he can improve on his lap. Turn to push a bit. See if we can strain the engine a bit. Okay, so now let's try put him. Of course, he hasn't really improved his time at all, but he did essentially to a 1 minute 30, which is great feedback though. And on the live view, we can see arrows is right behind us with Steve Watson chasing us down. I think he's trying to like set a lap. But I think we have done enough for testing for now. Because there's, like, there's no really new parts we've added as yet. So I think that's how we got to do it. Of course, we, we literally destroyed everyone else by two seconds, you know. That is a flex and a half. Oh, hang on here. We've got a new message. Okay. New front wings. Okay, so we can actually have a new wing. So let's actually move everyone out of here. This compartment. I mean, it's lighter and has bare aerodynamics. So, of course, might as well for our second testing, we'll use that perfectly. And it looks, it looks like we might be able to do some damage this season. So... So far, so good. And there's even more things now. We got new rear wings and barge boards, okay? So we gotta move basically everyone who's designed the first part of it and then move it to the second because we, we still have some time to our actual first Grand Prix so we can might as well just shift everyone out of that to focus on development on our new part all right then that makes it into the race so we are ready for racing okay and this is our very first season very first opener at australia at albert park okay 
my objective is to come get into points essentially so that means with this gaming system we need to get sixth yes 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 sixth is one point so that is our objective to get top six because um of course nowadays it's top 10 but back then this was different scoring in general so now get top six and we should be clear but we do, were doing quite fine during qualifying or i mean um testing so of course right before we start we need a sort of i don't know what their like sort of needs are so let's actually give them the new wing and let's both get them wings okay get them a wing and then also might as well get them also a real wing also put in basically all the new parts we've gotten right so we've gotten three new barge bags also i mean barge boards missing put there so we've got the new versions okay so might as well give them that and then like during qualifying you can actually kind of see where we need to like sort of improve but I feel like we can do well. Yeah, this is where all our testing matters here. So of course we're gonna get it gets Heinz to get out onto the track. Okay, and then for Damon Hill, we still need to we have a new engine also, so I'll put that for the race, but then in terms of for now, I just no we can actually let's actually do this. I'ma do it during qualifying. Give them the new like engine so that they can get the best out of that car for qualifying. So at least we can actually have a good shot during the race. Maybe we can uh, surprise everyone and win this. Okay, you can see Heinz is on track now. He's doing quite well. Well, I mean, yeah, I think this is just his outlap before we actually post the time. Then also just released Damon Hill. He's just came out from pits. And let's see who's going to post a good time. Wait, we've got to, of course, tell them to put in quickly. Because I know it's kind of a glitch you can do in this game. Where, like, we can actually get their, especially, like, their specs and their setup quicker than usual. Just let them go out for a lap and then tell them to put in. They'll tell you okay, exactly what's wrong up. with your car. So if he wants us to soften his suspension, of course, then raise the rear wing. Got you on that one. Put it up to 81. And then for Heinz, roughly, I think they're going to have the exact same setup. Maybe like the driving style might give them a change later on the season. But for now, it looks like they want the exact same driving style. So might as well give them what they ask. Okay, raise it to 80 and now give him for two. Shit. Where did the time go? It's almost time for qualifying. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go there. Uh, pits. Clean pits. Get out. Go for a literal lap, please. Okay, it's 11 seconds. I mean, Heinz is third. Okay, get inside, both of you, get inside right now. So we can at least kind of, we have 10 minutes, okay. okay it sounds like pitting. Okay, okay, he literally okay, asked me to drop down his suspension. So I think give it to him to okay, just get okay, Or 49, then... Rail wing lowered down a bit to, I think, maybe 60 or 65. Hit or miss there. The car does not develop good enough speed on the straights. I mean, we're doing quite well either way, so. But then watch, like, Murphy slow hit us in this, like, last second. Okay, let's give him also 250. Lower the front wing to roughly 65 that should give you guys an edge okay Heinz is on track then 
Damien Hill. It's hard for you to shine, boy. He's 17. Okay, he's moved up a bit. We have three minutes left, guys. Get in. Get in, both of you. Okay, soften. So I think they want it to be 25, I think. Let's just give it to him 25. And raise the rail wing substantially. Put okay, it up to 75. Okay, soften it. So let's give it up to 25 both of them and then raise the front wing to 65 that should give us the edge especially for them as that's the last minute goes as the time winds down and that's the end of our session okay highest came p4 and damon hill came p15 okay but that's the, and he's our first driver our main driver is coming in the bottom 15 so this time let's actually give them a new part upgrade engine for i think we'll do it for both drivers matter of fact give them both and also electronics give the new electronics and the last part of the brakes also to make sure that they can get the best out of this qualifying session especially for damien hill because damien hill is right now costing us so we have an hour remaining of qualifying okay so then let's actually command him okay that's wrong person push get Damon Hill you go and then for Heinz we're also gonna give you exact same parts okay so we can see Damon Hill's starting his out lap right here then right behind him we have Luca from the Minardi team, Olivia Panis of Prost, and Rubens with Stewart. Okay, so so far the track isn't too busy at the moment, so we we might be able to get a little bit of an edge for now. So let's just hope he does well. Okay, let's see. Lap one, he made a three second. Ooh, okay, Damon Hill is on fire. He's on some good. Good things right now. Okay, of course, the other teams did quite badly. Um, Heinz is also his time to shine now. Where are you? Okay, you come here. Go. Give us at least top five. Well, that's all I'm asking. Top five. Lock, up, lock down on the fourth grid lane. Okay, so now it seems like the pits are gonna be a bit. They have a lot more people on track now, so it's gonna be not gonna be big of an issue for Heinz at the moment because there's not much going on on track. But has they even even pits in yet? Okay, soften the suspension. Okay, let's give them to five and then raise the rear wing by one degree. Okay, perfect. See how good Heinz is doing so far. Okay, that's second lap, and let's see what time he posts. So he's P2 now, it seems. Yes, he's P2 with a second deficit, less than a second deficit between me, um, Damien Hill, and Heinz. So that's kind of interesting too. Go back into the pit wall. Okay, just let's give him two more laps. Just two more laps and then he should be fine. Johnny Herbert. Okay, I'm pity on this lap. He put in. Okay, I'm pity on this lap. Okay, so he's still on track. Okay, he just wants the real like the rear wing to go up by one degree, okay. So Damien Hill, my brother, this is your time to shine. I think just give him a bit more fuel before he leaves out. 37 should do it. As high, we're still in P1 and P2. I don't think McLaren and them have set the time yet. 
doctor. I just sent the wrong person out. Oh my days. Ah. Oh. But he hasn't, hasn't improved either way, so. Shouldn't be too big of a trash smash. Okay, so now McLaren just posted the first lap, so we might drop down very soon. So Damon Hill. Okay, so it looks as you can see here on the map, it looks like virtually everyone is now testing, so might as well use this time to push before it gets super clustered. Okay, David Carthard can't catch us. I told Heinz to pit in, but he's not pitting in. Okay, but at least he improved. Now we're moving down because now they're actually now beginning to, to, to slowly drop down for us. Okay, raise the room by one degree. No, not six nine. Okay, raise the room by one degree. Okay, put up for him both. Fifteen minutes to go. We're P four, P five. And then we lock out Dave Carthard in P6. So for Ferrari to be good for, for them, but for us, we're trying to, trying to get the best out of this car. Okay, Dave, Damon Hill, can you do it? Can you be the one to drive us home? Okay, he has one more lap remaining. As you can see, we still P4 though. Then we have um, Eddie Irvine, P3, Pietro Keller, Jacques Villeneuve, Bar Ralph P10, John Herbert P7, John Alacy P13. Okay, David's on his out lap too, so he's trying to definitely try and prove his lap. But there's seven minutes to go, so just for this lap, please just risk everything. Hopefully, you don't crash. Please not crash, because that would definitely hurt us. Okay, he's just finished the qualifying, so that could be it. This is, ooh, David, Damien Hill has made it into top three. At least David Carthard can do some magic. It's four minutes to go. Let's see, come on, come on. Yes, perfect. So, as it stands, the top five goes as Mika Hakkinen, Michael Schumacher, Damien Hill, Ed, Ed Irvine, Heinz, and David Carthard. Who is in the point system in the starts, okay. That was a very good lap by Damien Hill. Although he had a second gap between um, Mika Hakkinen and Damien Hill. So now the next thing we have to do is to media make sure we set it up properly right before the race starts. Okay, so this is the setup we're going to be running. So we're going to do a two-stop strategy so that we can basically make sure the weather doesn't change or tire wear does not affect us heavily. Because, of course, it's, it's literally... And also, he's asking us to change his setup also. So let's raise the front wing by one degree. Highs, do you need anything? He says he's fine. Okay. So it seems like... We also need to check our, make sure engines are doing well. Okay, seems like both engines are doing quite well. So now we've done a strategy. We're in a good position and let's go. Okay, as the start position begins, of course he's switched between the two Ferraris. Damon Hill. Oh, but he leaves his position so far. David Carthard. Okay, locks at David Carthard. So he's now dropped position, if I'm not mistaken. Then Heinz is so far P6 now. Then Mika Hagen P1, P2. So, so far we did drop position though. Make sure we do not fall into 7th. Okay, he has just dropped again. Michael Schumacher P1. Irvine is doing madness right now. Michael Schumacher drops the position again to P5. Okay. So Damien Hill did definitely pass Michael. 
then Heinz is also su supposed my Kushima Kadao. So that is great. So now he's running in P6. Might, might have spun or something. Not sure what really went down. But it's a quite a close battle between the top three. Okay, it's we can't be fighting Michael. That's the thing. Damien Hill versus Michael. Just like 1994. So it looks so far. He's, he's still running P4 and P5. But there's a big gap between us and then who's P7. That's his. Uh, what's his name? Fizzy Killer. Then we're still running quite decently, very decently, by the way. We're still P4, P5, as we're reaching lap 10 now. So that is something. Now he's gone up to P3. Okay, that is. Heinz is doing some madness, by the way. Just past Mika Hackman. P3. Okay, Tower is fine. See if parts are working properly. Okay, into the 12% barge balls at 14%. But we we are doing quite well so far. Oh no! Oh shit! Damien Hill just had a driver error and he crashed. That is not good at all for us. He definitely left 24 then. So our boy over here can still give us some points. We should not have a bad ending, just make sure he's not pushing more than he's supposed to. But that kind of sucks though, so that means Rubens is now P6. Fewer John Lacey, of course, with Salva. Okay, left 30. We're doing quite well though. We're still doing quite decently, to be honest. Oh my days, there is two errors. There's two errors just now. We have David Carthard. Mika Hakkinen both fall off of the race and now we are P2 now with roughly less than 10 laps to go now or 10 laps now going in Heinz is doing quite well let's see the distance maybe we can clutch a victory here 50 seconds wow wow but Mike was catching us um still let's we don't want to risk anything as yet in case we actually have a fault or anything. Like the McLaren's just did. But this is good. This is very good. Heinz, come on. Heinz. Please do it. We can come on this literal podium. If we could team. Because I think definitely the gap between us and Fisichella is quite massive at the moment. Another driver error by Johnny Herbert. Okay, so we are almost a lap down now, and we are just dropped down by Michael Schumacher. Looks like Ferrari. Ooh, and here's a big failure. Irvine. Come on, Ferrari. Come on. Come on. Two more laps. Yes, and we have sealed it. We have done it. Well done, Heinz. We, that sets us on a good position for the season. P2, P3 looks like it's, uh, of course, Fiskella. P4, Rubens, P5, Alexandra, P6, Sonadi with Williams. Okay, Williams in the points. Okay, guys, that would wrap it up for us. Um, of course, we came in a podium position, P2, and that will give us maximum points for the season. Uh, if you guys would like to see more, please subscribe and like this video to help us greatly. But anyway, see you guys soon. Take care and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.